Following his conviction, Jeffrey Paschal was sentenced to 18 years in prison for the brutal beating and kidnapping of his ex-fiancé. 90 Day Fiancé fans celebrated the good news. Varia Molina, despite years of being aggressively vague about her status with him, is openly supporting him. What will happen to her now that he's behind bars? Does she have to return to Russia? Varya Molina never actually told anyone what sort of visa she received when she came to the United States. On the show, she came on a tourist visa to win back Jeffrey playing right into his manipulative hands. She found herself in a love triangle with Mary in some twisted game that Jeffrey was playing with their emotions. Varya never confirmed anything to fans, even avoiding confirming whether she was even still dating Jeffrey. It soon became apparent that she was living in the United States, not just on an extended visit. She sold her apartment back in Russia, she shared on social media. The natural conclusion was that Varya had, like several women before her, married Jeffrey. Fortunately, unlike his past wives and fiancés, she did not get the chance to see him at his worst. He had already been arrested and charged with unspeakable violence against his last fiancée, Kristen Wilson. Varya used the proceeds from selling her home in Russia to support herself, allegedly. Despite assumptions that she and Jeffrey were married, that might not be possible. Even the K-1 visa might have always been out of reach for them. Interestingly, it is reported that Jeffrey is still reportedly married to his fourth wife, Brittany Paschal. She is, of course, estranged from him. It is speculated that Varia may have been granted legal residency through the Diversity Immigration Visa Program, which runs on a lottery system. If that is the case, Varia's residency in the United States is not contingent upon Jeffrey in the slightest. Even if she were here on a marital visa, it's unclear if that would directly impact her continued legal status. However, the financial implications of long-term imprisonment could be a factor, and so could the very obvious interpersonal fallout. Namely, Jeffrey is going to be behind bars where he belongs until 2040. That barely even looks like a real year to us, but it's going to feel extremely real for Jeffrey and for the misguided few who love him. Sure, right now, Varya is his biggest cheerleader, likely thanks to years of intense manipulation. But can that last for 18 years? Varya is also currently residing in Jeffrey's house in Knoxville, Tennessee. But he is still alive and continues to own the property. He could conceivably sell or turn it into a rental. That's not a secure long-term home for Varya. It looks like she's basically just crashing at his place to manage some things for him until she figures out a long-term plan. It would be lovely to see Varya on the single life, under the right circumstances. She would have to be done with Jeffrey, both as a partner and as a human being. Most fans would want her to first totally disavow him. The alternative could mean her using a return to reality television to voice support or, worse, raise money for Jeffrey. That wouldn't just be in poor taste it would be immoral. TLC might not care, but many fans do. So, we shouldn't expect Varya to pack up her life and return to Russia anytime soon. If it happens, it's probably going to be her choice not a side effect of a deeply evil man facing justice. Varya is more likely to simply move from Tennessee and find a new place to live within the United States, since this is her home now. Sometime in the future, maybe in two months or in two years, she's probably going to start dating again. We obviously hope that her next partner is better than Jeffrey. That is setting the bar a little too low. Let's instead say that we hope that her next partner is a decent human being.